to Dina Cruising Through Life. I hope you're having an amazing day. I have some really fake light going on right now, so if I look a little funky, that's why. I'm filming at night, which I never really do. I kind of like natural light, but it was, um, the day just kind of got away from me. And by the time I filmed, the sun was going away and I was looking at the footage and I'm like, that looks terrible. So, and the room got like super, super hot in here too. Um, so now I have a light on me just to make me sweat even more. So in talking about planning this um, family vacation coming up, it is just a really short cruise, but like I said in the past, I think a short cruise is good for people who have never been on a cruise. Uh, you don't want to throw them in at the deep end of the pool. That is a smaller ship, so of course some of the things are going to be on there and some of them are not. Um, from, you know, based from the bigger ships. But, I mean, the basics are there. You know, you have the pools, you have the spas, you have the slides, you have Guy's Burgers, you have Blue Iguana Cantina, they have the nice dinners, they have, you know, the buffets, they have usually chocolate extravaganzas going on on that last uh, day before you port, before you debark. And then, um, I mean, there's mini golf and there's a mini arcade. There's a lot of different things available. Um, you get all the little shows and stuff and all the kids um, areas as well. So I'm thinking this is still like a really good idea. So this vacation really came about because a few years ago I took my kids and grandkids on a family vacation to SeaWorld and we stayed a, I don't know, a couple days there, a couple nights there and we had such an amazing time. It was probably, and I keep saying it, it was probably one of the best family vacations we ever had. And I felt like that was the best things because I wanted to them to have a memory rather than just gifts that, you know, they play with for a while and they throw in the closet. So I really wanted to do that. And I just really thought they had a really good time. Well, soon thereafter, um, there was another thing that was going to be coming up is, uh, so I knew my granddaughter was going to have a medical procedure and then I knew, and then I found out my daughter was going to have a baby. So I decided, well, I wanted to wait till at least her baby was two and that my granddaughter was in a really good place to where I could, you know, take her on a cruise like this. So now it's been about three years since um, I first started that, this thought, and we're almost here, and I can't believe we're almost here. And so here my grandson will be almost two by that time, and my granddaughter's in a really good place, and so I'm just super excited to be able to do this again. Um, so the planning stage just started because I had to figure out uh, how many rooms, what type of rooms, and things that were happening. So um, I started going online and looking. Um, so if anybody's done this and you go online, you can search, see where the rooms are. You can book multiple rooms if you want to through Carnival and put different people in different rooms and stuff. And so I did that. I knew I would need at least um, three interior. Um, I wanted an ocean view room and then um, at least, and then a handicap accessible room for my brother and his friend. And so after doing all that research, um, what I like to do is put a hold. So I put a hold on those rooms and then I called my uh, personal vacation planner with Carnival whose name is Russell. And so Russell and I talked about the different rooms and stuff like that. And then we went through, made sure they were kind of near each other as best as we could and then um, he transferred me to the person that handles the handicap accessible rooms. So for the handicap accessible room I was uh, given a series of questions. Now normally all these questions would pertain pretty much to figuring out what kind of cabin um, I would be or, or my brother would be assigned. Uh, whether he used a walker uh, and wanted to use the walker primarily, if he was 100% disabled in a wheelchair, he was quadriplegic, you know, what was the variation of what um, the handicap, had the handicap 
is. And so for my brother, he's primarily going to be in the wheelchair. He does walk and get around and stuff with a walker, but he's very unsteady and he gets very nervous when people are kind of rushing around him. Um, so a wheelchair, we felt, is going to be his primary mode of transportation just because I think it'll be um, make him feel a little more secure and his um, friend, who's also his caretaker, um, feels that that's like the best way to do it as well. So luckily on the imagination um, that they have, from what I remember, because there was like a year and a half ago when I talked to the gentleman, um, I believe all of theirs are wheelchair accessibility rooms. So which means you can roll into the um, shower, the doors are wider, the space is wider for the wheelchairs to get in between the beds, things like that. So on other ships, there's going to be a variations of accessibility rooms. So if you really, you know, take the time to listen to what the person is talking to you about from the cruise line, because they're going to know exactly the right room to get that person and to make sure that you feel comfortable in the space. They're also going to offer you different types of um, things like a, a shower seat, um, if they need help, um, you know, getting onto the ship, um, all different types of things. So I basically just kind of went for it because I just feel for his first time, I want to make him as sure as he's as comfortable as possible. So the other thing that's going to be interesting and very different for me doing this is that I'm sharing a room with two of my grandkids because both of his parents are not able to go on the cruise. Um, well, my son's not able to go on the cruise. And so with that, those two children are gonna be with uh, me. So we have a room for three of us. And um, so what I have to do is get some documentations and some things. So I have to call Carnival. So. I figured what I'd do is call them, get all the information here in the next few month or so, um, pretty soon, and then I believe it's like a notarized documentation, of course I have to have their birth certificates and things like that, but because both of their parents aren't going, I need some definite paperwork. So that's what I'll be doing over the next couple months. So it'll be quite interesting and I will make sure that I record and let you know everything that I had to do because um, if you ever want to take your grandkids or niece, nephew or something on a cruise, then this may um, be of worthy information. Um, all right, so that is pretty much it for right now. This is where we're at. Um, so. All the payments are due uh, pretty soon here in mid-October and I usually go all the way up to the end and leave just a little bit of each one with a balance, a small balance. That way if a cabin price drops I can call them up and ask them to adjust the price. If the, um, and of course it has to be the same cabin category. Now. Of course, if you go ahead and just pay your cabin in full and you're done, you can always call um, and see if you can get a credit, um, like onboard credit or something like that, or if you haven't paid your gratuities, maybe it could go towards that, things like that. So there's options there if you paid in full, but I usually try to go all, pretty much towards the, uh, to the payment due date. So, um, and that's coming up, what did I say, mid-October. Mid so oh, wow, so so that is basically the planning and what happened and how this all came about and how I did the rooms and everything. Um, so once I get on the ship, of course, I'll be able to show you the, the all the different types of rooms that we booked. And um, the ship's been around for a very long time, so there's a lot of different videos about it on there. But I'm gonna like focus on what my kids are gonna be loving about this first cruise and get the uh, pros and cons, and they will give me the truth. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a little like, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, and have a great day.